Welcome back to Timberborn and I'm primarily going to focus on starting this power thing that I spoke about last time. So let's do that, shall we? Um, the first thing that I think we need to do, and we're going to actually do it from the main district because at the moment there's not enough stockpiled dirt to be able to do it separately. So what I think we need to do is get more supplies over here for the bots so I'm going to put some bigger tanks in for fuel and a catalyst so biofuel obtain catalyst obtain we will prioritize building those um actually gonna put in a store for the punch cards as well don't know if we have any of those we have none of those so let's do that as well and let's get them making some punch cards as well have them making we're going to knock off the books we want bots working and then um, a 19 spare Oh, I think we're going to have those all be haulers. I'm going to build two hauling posts. And they're going to be bots. I'll just knock the priority down of those a little bit. And then let's high prioritize building all of that. Then going to... Can I get to the migrate population from here? I don't know. We're just going to go over to the district centre. And I'm going to increase the minimum to... 145. And... That should give us some spares. And then we're going to make a start. So... Our water tank floor is going to be at one above this level. We're going to be at this level here. So I want to, I'm going to have to do a lot of access providing, but I want to kind of set some Almost like survey markers, I guess. I don't have the height mod because I don't think it's been updated for update 5. So we need to build a kind of a base really for the tank. Tank's probably the wrong word, isn't it? I don't know. Um, store. Yeah, I guess maybe tank's the wrong word because it's going to be made out of organic material, but don't know. What would you call it? Reservoir seems wrong when it's going to be full of toxic waste. Anyway, why won't you fill in that hole there we go so yeah that's our level and that's going to be our outside no i guess the bots from the other district are going to help out with some of this so that's a thing uh, let's, let's come across there, so do that, means we need to fill that in all the way up. I have not really planned this properly, just kind of in my head. No. There we go. That 
to start, I guess. And yeah, we need to gain access to everywhere. So let's do pass all the way around. And then let's... Is that going to be enough? Probably not. We probably need to be able to get down into it at various points. I don't know, maybe that will be enough. I guess we'll see. Please tell me that's a bot down in the soup. Yep, you. Right, so that's the start and then I guess inside. Anything that's above that level needs to be exploded. So you need to go down a level. And the way dynamite placement works, that's quite easy. So you need to go down two levels. You need to go down a level. And you might be wondering why I'm not just going to blast it down as deep as possible. And the reason that I kind of spoke about in the last video, I think, is what I want to be able to do is put a floodgate in and empty it into a series of um, water wheels, but then potentially be able to pump it back up. So we can sort of get some perpetual motion going on, but also be able to jumpstart it. Um, so yeah, our marker level is one, two, three. This, I believe. No. Probably what I'll do is I might tidy all this down to that level. And then we'll have something that comes out and back and along and back and then maybe can run out through here. Something like that. Not entirely sure yet, but I guess if these guys are going to be doing building as well, we should help them out with a pile of dirt as well and rebuilding the uh, fuel tanks so that they can do their job more efficiently. Uh, be that that they have punch cards available now there is a good question they do so yeah let's get all of that built first so, that'd be good that'd be good and then i guess we need to we're going to get the other district working on this. We need to prioritize it, but we should probably do medium high priority so that we can still prioritize other things as we need to. Because otherwise it won't be possible. And that will be a bit of a pain if something more urgent -er comes up. So. Do it that way, and uh, hopefully we can get this built fairly quickly. With two districts building it, we should be able to. So these guys are just progressing, and then down here, these guys are also progressing with reclaiming land. So they are also busy packaging 
foods, and I don't think we have a store for those, so let's build a large warehouse for packaged foods. We do not. We will set that to supply and prioritize them building that so they keep working. But yeah, it feels like a, a good use for this, and as I said last time, we were struggling in the drought for power, so that's why I would like to sort this. And, uh, yeah. And probably what would help is if we were a bit sneaky. And by a bit sneaky, I mean very. And if we did something like this, because this should allow them, them being the beavers, bots, this district to assist quite a lot with outcrossing districts. Sneaky, I know. We could be more sneaky. And we could do something like this. Yeah, that, that would allow... I mean, it could even be more sneaky. And we could get them up there. And that probably means I need to do that. And then... A whole lot of paths. That's okay. We can do paths. We can do paths. Yeah, but that, that should allow the bot district to do even more of the building. Um, yeah. Cool. And what I'm hoping is that the builders will mostly just be going backwards and forwards then. This we will prioritise by haulers. This is full, this is full, this is nearly full. So that's good. We need some logs and planks over here. So planks obtain to get logs. We just chop down some of the random trees. So because that seems like a sensible idea. You should maybe bring some over as well, but you know. Make use of what's available and all that. Just hoping none of them get stuck in this process. Let's turn our thoughts to this side. So what I want to do is... That's a two. So we want to take that all down by two. And that down by three. And that should just level all of that a bit out, which will be good. Just have a quick check of the colony. It's all looking okay. Obviously builds in most of the rest of everything will be kind of stalled, but I can say that's okay. Well, we've got a lot of packaged food suddenly. So, let's 
let's make sure we are exporting that. And let's make sure we have some... Yep, we've got some storage for packaged food over here, so that's good. Get that moving around, that's being done. That new project is going to derail. No, it won't derail this actually, because this is coming out of that second district. So what I think I'm going to do, give them something to do is delete all of that. I've not seen your comments on the last video because this one's being recorded pretty much straight after, but you know, this is a way of reducing the uh, number of wheels. So, and the, uh, the stuff should flow okay doing it this way, I think, so. do that and uh, that should allow district 2 to build all of that we know farms haven't been built yet obviously um, and does we need something to keep this area well uh, maybe maybe Not too worried, but it might be beneficial because we've got 14 days left. And maybe, maybe a mechanical pump to just pump some water out of the channel would be worthwhile. So you should now be unpaused. So if I go into advanced, you are at 4.88. We want you to pause if you are above five and unpause if you are below 4.9, I think. So let's set the rest of these up. So pause if above five. 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 Unpause if below 4.99. There we go. And then that's just being so much easier with that giant one. Five. 4.99, please. There we go. That should mean we can keep that hydrated for longer. I feel like because that's not connected, we should just blast along there, link those up, I think that would be sensible. Well, as sensible as things get anyway, eh? Uh, I'm not sure why there is a piece of dynamite there. I don't think that needs to be there. No. No. They are cracking on with that at a pace. Which I guess is the benefit of having so many working on it that we don't actually need to build most of this. So let's cancel it. You are cancelled. They've spent more time building that than they have building the blooming walls. But that's okay. That's okay. It probably looks like we need a few bear cases and stuff. And as we get things put in, we can put some more in if we need to. So, okay. I'm going to make this much higher once we've got the basis of it in. Once we've got the basis in, we'll go up as high as we can. So you can go do other things with your life. You don't need to exist. 
you don't need to exist and you don't need to exist no excellent Look at all those happy beavers where are the builders ah uh, do i need to prioritize all of the explosives as well let's do that and they might be off getting explosives and ingredients for explosives but anyway this is working quite well it's not empty yet which is nice and they are harvesting stuff which is also nice do we have Yeah, District 1. We still have a bakery doing cattail crackers. Do we still have a grist mill doing... No. We should put one back to cattail flour. Because we now have lots of cattail roots. So... It's back to this jobby. These guys are working hard on that. That's all in, so that can be detonated and that doesn't need to be built. That's in. So that can be detonated. That can be deleted. That needs to be put in. Um, Shimmy, yeah, they can get to those. They probably need a ladder to get up there. So let's give them one. And I see they probably need a staircase to get up there to get to. Let's see if they can get to that, okay. Fair enough. Um that needs filling in. Let's do that. You can be deleted. It's actually worked out quite nicely that the level I picked is the level that the um, thingy's at. Yeah, the thingy. Um, let's put a ladder there so that they can do that we should get these put in but if everything's high priority nothing is high priority as i like to say so And I know I haven't left a gap for it to get out. I will add that in once it's all built. It will be a single floodgate, most likely. Right. Oh, wow. They have almost filled the cattail roots. So, probably... Oh, we are exporting cattail roots. We do not have a store for cattail roots or cattail flowers though let's remedy that with um some construction and this is our new storage area so the flower and roots and we obviously need to extend the path so let's do that so they can keep building uh, they're building up here still which is cool yeah. right lovely stuff I feel I 
like that should have been double dynamite. Yeah, it should have been. That was a rookie mistake on my part, as should this. Oh well. Uh, we'll be okay. We will be okay. Can they get? To, they can get to that at least. All right. Uh, landscaping, explosives, single dynamite. Uh, right, that area is all filled in somehow, so I'm going to clear that off. That's all in. You're going down the stairs, so you'll be okay. You'll survive being next to the explosion. Single dynamite there. But yeah, this is the basis of our tank. Um, the construction that's going to come off it is going to be quite big. Going to be quite big. As I said, did a little bit of testing because I think it's much harder to do this with the folk tail, so. I did want to test it a little bit just to make sure it would work. And uh, it should. It should. So the limiting factor is the fact, as I said, that they're deep water. The... Where are we? These joys. Only drop four rather than the six of the iron tea. That's kind of a limiting factor. I think we might take that section out as well. Actually, what we'll do is we'll make that that and that will be the start of things and that was dumb and that's one side of the start we then have a four gap so one two three four so that's the other side of the start of the first bit. So it's going to be something like that. It's going to be where our channel goes. to get the beavers in to that and that wouldn't be a bad way of doing it would it I'm still not sure about the arrows originally I thought you had to build them from the back end but I'm not sure now I guess we'll see I guess we'll see So the idea is that we'll in here we'll have a floodgate um, that will be up to 10 high because we'll use the metal floodgates so we can build this um, nine no, seven higher um, yeah so this this will be a store of potential energy I guess. Um, what we'll need to have hmm, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a tricky one we'll need a return that doesn't go into this tank 
So I might need to leave a gap around here. Yeah. I might need to make the first run a bit longer. So that we can have the pumps feed into here. So if I go back down, we'll just allow some space. We might need to have more space, but. Yeah, so we can have it fed from here, or we'll have it fed from around the side. Depending on if we want to use like a perpetual motion type pumping thing, or if we want to just pour, pour water in from here, or we can do a mixture. And have it kind of boosted. We'll see. We will see. I guess if I wanted to, I could have the beavers on this side working on raising this thing up. go basically every two just to be able to build the stairs so what did I say we wanted to do seven so that's six so they can probably build all of that um, and actually if I yeah I don't need to build all of that actually I can be much martyr eat that Delete that, delete that, delete that actually as well. Gee, let's delete all of this. Let's be smarter. This this is gonna be quite time consuming anyway. I think we can save our beavers quite a lot of travel time. So Yes, they're gonna to have to build some more, but I delete those bits of path. Like that. And then I want to go up another three of those. I do that. to actually build all of the um, the walls of the tank because they're working on a separate path structure to the uh, yeah that might work at this point I feel like we don't need to bother with that so they can get to that anyway can't they yeah so All that, that can go, they can do those, so, yep, yeah. cool. Right. That's all in, so you 
can be deleted. We've got six days left of the drought. How are we looking? Actually, not too bad. So, place our last piece of explosive. You can be emptied. And then let's look at our food supply for this district. And we could do with sunflowers and potatoes. So growing enough sunflowers is always really tricky, actually. So sunflowers, we're going to plant quite a few of those, actually. And potatoes. There we go. You can be detonated. Hopefully that'll help keep that hydrated. You can be detonated. You can be detonated. You can be detonated. And you can. And you can. And I guess we're waiting for them to bring over the wooden bits. And probably I should prioritize all of that. So that happens. And then we can delete a bunch of this. Do we care about some logs and planks? Not really, but you know. Awesome. It has begun. So, what planning? Basically, what we need to do now is just really extend this out a lot. A lot, lot, lot. Um, a little bit like the uh, the building on the Mega Build series, and uh, what we do is we do that, and then we do. And we just do this first. We just do this first. Been a long day today. Been a long day. Um, we will need paths running along here and along here. And then do that. You guys should not be worrying about any of that, although I guess it's haulers that are clearing up all of this stuff. So let's put that there. And that there. And put the path back. And uh, that's not that much. That can go, then they can tidy up the rest of that and uh, I'm going to delete these paths and this path and this path and that path and we're going to blow that up and we're going to delete that log because it's just one log. Now we can delete the rest of these paths. There we go. And then we can delete that. And we can get that from above so that can go. Awesome. And that's looking nice. And then I can put in these. And they can be built from the Bot district. No. Because they're separate from District 1. So we just need them to get all of that stuff built. It should go quicker once they've got that tower built because then there'll be access to dirt, which they've got. 
Äpfel. So, let's do that. And if I check over here. Yeah, they've got loads of dirt. It's just all the other stuff they need that they don't have. This way we will have, let me just mock it up. So we'll have a power wheel there. We would have a straight power connection and then we'll have a drop. So what we need to plan for is uh, we need to plan for doing all of that anyway, but something like that. And this is what I was saying, that it's just loads and loads of terraforming to do. And that was why having all of those, all of this dirt here is useful. Um, kind of wondering where all of our builders are. Oh, you've run out of water. Okay. That's only three days. Um, yeah. Where are our builders? What are you building? Yes, we need to just make it more important to you. And see if you come and do it then. Right. We've apparently got two spare bots. Okay. Nine spare bots in this district. So let's put in where are we? Getting lost. Um, I know the location doesn't really matter that much, but we're going to put in another builder's hut. We should put in two more builder's huts, actually, shouldn't we? She got 50 spare beavers. Did we just go crazy? Because they're not working in anything toxic. Four more beat builders. They are all organics, but you know, we'll be nice. We'll do water and food, obtain and punches, obtain. We'll let them eat. In theory, should mean we can build way, way, way quicker. Awesome, that's on the way. That is on the way. So now it should just be a case of the fact there's loads of dirt there. How quickly can they throw it up? Yeah. Kind of my hope with this is now that we've got lots of builders, we could do even more. Um, but if we go in here, we've now got 
11 builders hut. So we've got 44 builders. I'm going to build more. Two. Three. Why not? Why not? I mean, the organic beavers don't work a particularly long day, but, you know, they can be slinging dirt. I just don't get why I'm not seeing them. Is it because of the direction of everything? Oh. It could be, you know. That could be the problem. Let's test that theory. You've probably all been sitting screaming at the screen. If this unlocks it, we'll see. If it does, it tells me I need to be more careful about how I place this stuff. Maybe I should just do that. It's clearly giving me a sign that I have not been careful enough. So, uh, that's the start of our thing. So, one, two, three. Kind of lost my layout now. One, two, three, four. So, this is the edge. No, you're putting them in the wrong way around. Put these, put this one. Yep, and then delete those. And rotate. And you go up one. You can go that way. And you can go along there. And we'll just start filling you in and see now if they start built yes so it was a complete operator error as they say something about bad workmen and their tools so the problem is going to be that i don't want to do this i want to get a base in like that so we need a ladder down let's let them get all of this built we should be mega quick now hopefully and we'll just check they can get this built We'll then put the rest in, and then I'm going to call it quits. And maybe I'll time-lapse some of the build, actually. Yeah, hopefully now they can do it. Hopefully... Here we go. Here we go. Right. Now, I'm going to start doing stuff this way. So I think if we go back to about here and fill this in. 
That was a bit dumb. Don't like that. Uh, you don't need to be filled in. Come forwards. Come forwards. Come forwards. Come forwards. Fill in the gap. Do a bigger base. You need to be a level lower, so take account of that. Go from there. Bad tides over. Not that we particularly note. Yes, if I put a staircase there, get some paths going on. So you actually run at that height. You run like that. No. You need to be beated. Let's do some measuring. Pause. Right, from here. Ten. Twenty, it was. It's three. Uh, so thirty, forty-two, twenty, thirty. 42. So that's our 14 water wheels down to there. Okay. So let's block that in and then we'll call it a day, I think. Right. Let me see, this is going to be big. This is going to be very big. Particularly if I do the four runs of wheels that I'm thinking about doing. Because right. we'll probably end up doing... Yeah, we might as well do all of that, I think. Basically, most of the way down there, which I've put in the wrong way around. Because if we put them this way, then multiple bots can, bots or builders can build them at once. The same with this. I need to delete that double bit that I put in. There we go. Let's get the path going down. Let's delete you. And then I guess... Let's put this one in as well for now. So that's only too wide at the moment. So it needs to be... That much wider like that 
get this level and can then do it in bigger chunks don't put extras in although they will be needed Between videos, I'm going to let them build this. You don't have to watch them. It should be relatively quick, I think. Um, as I can, I'll keep expanding the workforce. And uh, hopefully that way it will go relatively quick. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when... I'll, I'll let them build these two. And then when we come back, we'll work out the other two. See ya.